my sister told me that um, I was uh, expressing too much personal and private thoughts on my Facebook this led me to deleting everything on my Facebook in order to follow her advice as an artist uh, when I express myself um, expressing myself um, in every way I can leads to more expression the more I express myself the better I get at expressing myself This eventually leads to an over-expression and I enter privacy and um, and the result is that the uh, people in my family and my nearest friends uh, are ashamed of me. This shame is um, probably rooted in their own shame of um, something that they don't express in themselves. I don't want to uh, make them feel ashamed of me or themselves so I have to leave Facebook and not use it for expression I want to go somewhere else somewhere safe where I can be free to express myself without people correcting me because they cannot bear the feelings that they get when I express myself. And if this leads me to isolation from other people then I am going to be isolated from other people. Isolation used to be a problem for me. In um, 1987, I got a job at a restaurant in the kitchen. I wanted to be around people 
I could not express myself in any way. I was trying to write. I couldn't do it. I was trying to compose music. I couldn't do it. And I was trying to to paint and, and draw and write words. I couldn't do any anything. So I just gave it up and I wanted to be uh, around people and experience life. So I worked at, re at the restaurant for three years. There I met my ex-wife and uh, <clears throat> I was married to her for 12 years. And uh, I sort of gave up everything just to be with her and just to be with other people. But um, as the years went by, I uh, developed a new connection to myself, to the deepest parts of myself. And like uh, David Gilmour beautifully uh, describes himself my inside is on my outside. So at this point of life, I don't have to dig in to express myself because my inside is on my outside. I'm 57 years old and um, It is. It has taken me all this time to get where I am, and it's a very precious thing for me to be able to exist in the way that I do now. And I will not let anyone get in the way of me expressing myself and my authentic my authenticity. I'm going to use the rest of my life to create and express the way I see and have experienced creation and the Creator. I will not serve people anymore. I will serve spirit. I will do what spirit wants me to do. And at this point of my life, I realize that um, I don't need people anymore. In 1987, when I was working at that uh, kitchen, in that restaurant, I needed people. I needed people badly. But now, I am re 
connected to spirits and I can tell you that long time ago millions of years ago man did not have language language was created by the mind after the division from God so in the beginning man was connected to spirits and everything man needed was given to man directly from God and in the future we are all going to be dependent totally on our connection to spirits and at this point in my life I am able to sustain my health and my mind and my body thanks to my connection to spirit and to get to this place you have to do a lot of errors you have to do a lot of mistakes life is about doing mistakes uh, remember that so unless you do a lot of mistakes you won't learn it's not the right things you do in life that teaches you anything it's not the right girl or the right woman that you marry would that will do you good it's all the bad people you meet in life that makes life difficult for you they are your teachers until you get to the point why you don't want to meet anyone anymore or you don't need another witch or another vampire or another or another demon in your life demons will come into your life and help you develop And this will happen until the point where you don't need them anymore and you have reconnected with spirit. And from that point you go on doing what spirit wants you to do.